years have you been uh, on the hospitality crew out at the convention? I don't know, 10, 15, I don't know, somewhere around there. What kind of things do you do out there? Well, we uh, basically, the big thing is just to make new people, when they come to the convention, feel welcome. You go somewhere, you don't know anybody, you don't know anything, and they're, and you say, oh, can I help you with something? Oh, yeah, I don't know where such and so. Uh, and you tell them and you just be nice. And then before you know it, they, they're like your buddy. And then another one and another one. And then we close the door at big job, close the door during lectures or introduce someone. And you did say, I, I, I helped Steve with his lecture. I don't want you to say it. I videotaped him. That's him. It's his lecture. We went over a couple ideas, though. Yeah, but what I, what I meant by that, and I guess I should have made it clearer, you... Uh, but uh, you assisted him in, in on the DVD because you were Aloe Vision, right? Yeah, I didn't know it. He invented that. <laughs> okay, okay, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. You so, know, uh, go ahead. No, well, go ahead. I want to hear this. Um, my dad told me a long time ago, you, if you want to know why people get paid more than others, and no matter what job you're in, this is pretty much true. You get paid for what you do times your ability to do it well, divided by the number of other people can do the job the same way. So if you have your little show and you've got some little niche that really makes you special, then that can get more money. If you're just like everybody else, you know, and it's like the minimum wage, I don't want to get in politics, but there's whatever minimum wage is, seven bucks. Well, there are millions of people making eight, nine, 10, 12, Learn a different skill. Go in a different direction. Follow your heart. Maybe you'll do better then. Yeah.